We've been learning amazing things about Jesus this week. But today's true Bible story from the book of Luke outshines them all. Earlier this week, we learned about how God's people waited and waited for God's promise of a Messiah, someone to save God's people. Then, God sent John the Baptist to tell people that the Messiah, Jesus, had finally come. Many people believed that Jesus was God's Son and the Messiah God had promised, but not everyone. These people thought Jesus was lying, and they got very angry. They were so angry they wanted to hurt Jesus. One of Jesus' friends decided to hurt Jesus too. This friend betrayed Jesus and gave him to the other angry people to be arrested. As he was being arrested, Jesus said, Don't you realize that I could ask my Father for thousands of angels to protect us, and he would send them instantly? But if I did, how would the scriptures be fulfilled that describe what must happen now? Jesus could have stopped the arrest right there. But Jesus loves us so much that he let himself be arrested. It was an important part of Jesus doing what God had sent him to do as the Messiah, the true light of the world. Sadly, things didn't get any better for Jesus after he was arrested. The Bible tells us that angry people began to spit in Jesus' face and beat him with their fists and some slapped him. But Jesus was willing to be beaten because he loves us so much. Some soldiers made a crown of thorns and put it on Jesus' head. Then they put a stick in his hand and made fun of him saying, Hail, King of the Jews! But Jesus was willing to be made fun of because he loves all of us very much. Then, the soldiers made Jesus carry a heavy wooden cross through town to the place where he would be killed on the cross. On a lonely hill, the soldiers nailed Jesus to the cross. And Jesus died. Jesus was willing to die on the cross because he loves us with an amazing love. After Jesus died, his friends took his body off of the cross and placed it in a dark tomb, a lot like a cave. They rolled a huge rock in front of the cave to seal it. Everyone who loved Jesus was very sad. They thought the light of the world was dead and gone forever, and there was no hope. Three days after Jesus died, some friends went to visit Jesus' tomb and were very surprised to see the huge stone rolled away and the tomb open. They looked in the tomb and suddenly two angels appeared in bright dazzling robes. The angel said, Why are you looking among the dead for someone who is alive? He isn't here, he's risen. Jesus was alive again. Jesus' love for us is more powerful than sin. He died on the cross to take the punishment for our sins, the wrong things we all do. Jesus' love is even more powerful than death, and he came back to life to defeat death. Jesus proved finally that he is the light of the world, the Messiah God promised. When we believe in Jesus, He gives us a way to live with Him forever in His light, in a home called heaven. It's truly really amazing the way Jesus gives us love.